To give me a test. Welcome everyone. We're just working out a little, little audio here and give you a chance to just get settled. Um, it's a big space and fewer people than we normally have. So it's wonderful if you can help it sound like a whole lot of people when you're applauding your colleagues and congratulating your colleagues. So feel very free to clap loud, make some noise, make them feel like they're surrounded. Um, normally, of course, it would be a full, full space with lots of folks here. All set? Great. Well, welcome. Hello and welcome. Welcome to graduation in October. Welcome to graduation in the snow. That might have happened in some May, sometime, but definitely a seasonal marker in a different season. I am so glad though that we can be together today, that we can be together in person. Luckily, I've gotten to know many of you um, in the building before we closed. Um, and then of course, I got to see you on urgent Zoom calls in March as we kind of um, got our footing. But it's so good to see you in person today, um, together today, even if a little um, space to part. And for graduates who finished in the field or who are, are already in the field, um, we're thinking of you and we're thinking about how you're paving the way for the rest of us. I'm sorry that you couldn't be here with us today, but thank you so much for joining us remotely. And for friends and family who are watching today on video on our live stream, I'll introduce myself. My name is Sarah Turner. I'm the president of the North Bennett Street School. And while I'm particularly pleased to see our graduates and our faculty, I'm so glad to know that family and friends are here in spirit and watching along because I know it takes everyone's support to um, bring all this success together on easy days and on hard days. So I'm very, very glad that you could be with us. A big thank you goes to the North Bennett Street School staff, those uh, standing in the snow to usher you in, those helping to make all the arrangements. And really a big thank you and uh, appreciative of the goodwill of the folks of the Old North Church for making today's celebration possible. In order to respect the new rules of the times, we've conducted six graduations. And what that has meant is really an elongated time of celebration, two days of celebration, which is really a really nice way to um, bring this all together. But welcome to you, our new graduates, and to our faculty and our graduates elsewhere. In a moment, I'll share some thoughts about what your studies have meant to us and what I hope your work will mean to you going forward. At a time like this, it's really easy to focus on the urgent and the right now. And of course, as new professionals about to move into your fields, you're thinking about the next and the what is to come. But as we know, we're part of something bigger than any one of us. And our way has been paved by people who did good work before us. So before you graduate, I'm very pleased to put you in the good company of another North Bennett Street School graduate, our Distinguished Alumni Award recipient this year, David Betts. Each year, the school gives the Distinguished Alumni Award to recognize an outstanding graduate from one of our nine full-time programs based on their professional accomplishments, their contributions to their industry, and their promotions of excellence in craft and trade. So we are so proud to honor David Betts, class of 1972 in piano technology as the recipient this year of the Distinguished Alumni Award. So 
some of you may have gotten to know David a little bit, and certainly our piano alumni and our piano community knows him, but I'd like to tell you a little bit about him. For more than 45 years, since his graduation from the program, David has worked as a self-employed technician and piano rebuilder, making him one of the foremost experts in his field. And when I think about that, when I think about 45 years of working in your craft or your trade, dedicated to your clients and your instruments, that would be enough. But David has done other things and accomplished other things as well. He is a beloved educator. He has been a regular master teacher for the meetings of the Piano Technicians Guild. And he was awarded PTG's Member of Note Award in 2002 for all of those contributions to the field. David also helped to start a new chapter for North Bennett Street School. After only a couple years of teaching, he recognized the opportunity for an advanced piano technology program. He developed that program and he moved into the role of department head. It's an example of some of the things that I'll talk about today. Commitment, seeing and developing opportunity, and of course, the enduring dedication to others and to the school. His work has led the program to national and international renown, and he has provided lifelong membership to students and graduates of both programs. This award, the Distinguished Alumni Award, is given through a recommendation by peers. So it's really a true testament to the respect and the admiration that one can earn through their work. With this honor for David also came an honorary diploma this spring in advanced piano technology because it's a reflection of how teaching and learning can happen simultaneously. I know that David's been watching the ceremonies from home um, on the live stream. And so congratulations to you, David, and thank you for all of your contributions. And now to you, our graduates and our faculty. When I thought about what I would say to you today, how I might inspire you to launch into your next chapter or your next job or your next phase of life, I thought about how I might look to history or place. The steadfastness, for example, of our school, 139 years old, or to the endurance of this place, the Old North Church, a place that has stood for almost 300 years and has seen remarkable moments in American and global history. In both these cases, time and history would have been the inspiration for my remarks, how places have weathered and how they have withstood. Or in addressing you today, I might have conjured an inspiring person, someone who succeeded against the odds, someone who had strength of character to accomplish something significant, even in difficulty or adversity. I might have conjured someone with compassion and caring who worked on behalf of other people. So I thought about words and I thought about literature and I thought about acts of courage and rarity, something that would inspire you and propel you forward, something to take as meaningful. And at another graduation, maybe in another season or on another year, I might have taken this approach. I might have taken an approach where I looked outside of ourselves and I looked elsewhere for that spark. So you can see where this is leading. You hear me use words like steadfastness and endurance, strength of character, compassion and caring. This is what you have been. You have been the inspiration and you have been what propelled the rest of us forward. Because I'm remembering back to the middle of March and suddenly we were all in shock when we were all at home None of us were prepared for those weeks and those months. None of us knew how to Zoom or how to navigate technologies that we've learned since then. Suddenly you and your teachers, people who are dedicated to the analog and the by hand and the in-person, people who may have chosen your fields because you wanna work in those ways, you had your preferred methods taken away and you suddenly had to adapt. And you did, and your faculty did. And I think we were all so grateful in those months, even if we didn't recognize it, to have your progress as our focus. It helped us put one foot in front of the other and to face each challenge as it came. We thought about how you would finish your work 
and how we would get tools to you and how we would keep you engaged. And your faculty thought about how you could keep making progress, how you could find a pathway forward to today, to program completion, to accomplishment, and to graduation. And you did this. You showed up on Zoom and you watched videos and you read materials and you stood by each other. And you showed caring and you showed compassion. And you showed endurance and steadfastness. And you did this while the world changed all around you radically. It changed your families and your working life. And of course, your training and your timeline. And I have to admit, I marveled at how you just simply kept showing up, how we all did, just taking on something so much bigger than ourselves, slowly and step by step. And it took time. It's the end of October, after all. And it's not the season that we're used to for graduation. But you found ways to stay engaged and to adjust your life and your goals, and you were ingenious. Many of you found work as a way to continue learning or projects that kept your skills up. And so I'll say it really simply, we are so proud of you. We are so inspired by your commitment and your focus. We are so inspired. And so as you move forward and you take on the challenges that will surely come, I hope that you will look to this time as a time of reassurance because you did something remarkable and that's already in you. And as I've said on other occasions, good work and important work is not magic. It's not special abilities. That effort is day by day and it's steady and you've done this. So as you set up your next lives and your next projects and careers, I'll hope, I'll hope that you'll turn to what you learned and experienced here, all that you built, all that you made, all that you fixed and repaired. Because while it's not magic, it is unique and it is special. And through your work, you honor the work of the school and the community that you've become a part of. The school that endures for 139 years is not a static place. It's not a fixed thing. It's a place that is renewed and recreated by all of us, past and present, and you, our future. And we saw this at North Bennett this year. We saw that the school is a bigger effort than what happens in two buildings. It's a network that extends out and back through each of us. And so we'll want to know about the work that you're doing, how you're learning and your knowledge, how the school extends out through you. So please keep in touch. Please keep in touch with each other, with your faculty, and with the currents of culture that will continue to shape your work. Let us know what you're making. Let us know what you're building and repairing and help us pay attention to how skill is used in the world. We are so honored to have you join 139 years of North Bennett Street School. So on behalf of all of us at the school, on behalf of Mark Margulies, our board chair, as well as our board of directors and advisors and many, many decades of alumni who balanced changes with training before you, well done. Your work has meant so much to all of us. So congratulations, graduates. And now to celebrate each of you in turn and to confer diplomas, let me introduce a graduate of our cabinet and furniture making program, a remarkable leader to the faculty and to the whole team, North Bennett Street School Provost, Claire Fruitman. There we go. As it says in today's printed program, finishing the requirements for graduation at North Bennett Street School takes hard work, commitment, and dedication at the best of times. 
The students in this graduating class completed their programs during the global pandemic of COVID-19. So let's celebrate your extraordinary achievement, class of 2020. I'll be asking the instructors of each program to come up and wait for you. And then when I call your name, please come up to receive your diploma. There's a photographer here who's gonna take pictures of you. And there's also a computer behind me facing um, where you will be getting your diploma and feel free to wave or say hello to anyone who might be watching virtually. Once you've had your photo taken, you can make your way back to your seats. Please take note of the special diploma cases. Those were made by our own Jeff Altapeter, book binding department head, and the table that's holding the diplomas was made by Jackson Fairley, a cabinet and furniture making grad. And also the music that you've been hearing was recorded by Sasha Callahan, who teaches our violin makers how to play the violin. So first of all, let's have the bookbinding instructors come up. Jeff Altapeter. And is Martha Kearsley here today? She couldn't make it? Well, she's, we're gonna think of her anyway. She is? Hi, Martha. <laughs> Graduating today in bookbinding, Shelly Esplin. Lindsay Gibbons. <laughs> Samantha Grigla. Lisa Mutugroso. And now I'd like to welcome jewelry making and repair instructor, Ann Cahoon. And teaching assistant, Mariah Dose. Graduating today in jewelry making and repair, Willow Coronella. And 
been standing in for Jillian Harrison. Or Jillian's there. <laughs> And now please welcome locksmithing and security technology instructor, Barb Baker. Graduating today in locksmithing and security technology, Danny Cortez. <laughs> Fernando Esteban. <laughs> Matthew Hazel. <laughs> Robert Higgins. Stanislaus Tatlo. Don Carlos Losanto. Ellen Minister. Kyle Weaver. William Williams. So we're almost done. I just want to tell you a little story. The first time I attended a North Bennett Street School graduation was when I was a cabinet and furniture making student. Walter McDonald, my predecessor, was standing in this very spot saying the names and handing out diplomas. When he finished, he had some words of wisdom and encouragement, which I found so inspiring. I've been back for every graduation since then long before I worked here, even in years when I didn't know anybody. I thought of it as my annual pep talk. So I'd like to share those same words with you today and I hope you find them as inspiring as I still do. We may be almost finished here, but it's far from over. There's a lot more to do. There will be mistakes from which you will learn. There will be new customers you hope never to see again. New methods, equipment, and materials will change the way you work. You will get better and faster. If you don't get it right, you have a chance to do it better the next time. There will be wonderful customers for whom you will do work over your entire career, and they will become your friends. And they will recommend you to their friends because of your work. There will be a time when you finish a job, look at it, and realize that a short time ago you could not have done it and you would not have even known where to start. And you will realize just how far you have come. So in closing, may your tools stay sharp. May your work be scheduled a year in advance. May your customers always be satisfied in a timely manner and without argument. You have skills and knowledge that few people share. You can use these skills to make life better for others, and you can be justifiably proud of jobs well done. Now we're finished, and it's time for you to go out there and do great work. Congratulations, class of 2020.
We would like to take a group shot, but we, of course, need to keep our distance. So if all of you would stand up in your pews and sort of come to the entrance of your pew, and then we'll take some photographs. Faculty, come on over. You can stand toward the back of the aisle. Okay. You could go. Would be here. We do a quick test shot on the way. So, faculty, everybody in the back, make sure you can see me. 